middle of a bright sunny day on the Fitzroy River in downtown Rockhampton and there's plenty of boat traffic around but there's also plenty of fish here. We can see them on the sounder and what we suspect they are is threadfin or king salmon. And I've rigged with a Squidgy's Bio Tough flick bait in a very natural bloodworm prawn colour on a fairly light jig head and I'm going to throw it out there, get it down in front of where I can see these fish on the sounder. It's four and a half, 4.8 metres deep. So it doesn't take my lure long to get to the bottom. We've got a run in tide. I make contact with the lure and I'm just fishing it very subtly. I'm just lifting it off the bottom, making it dart a little bit and then back down onto the mud again. Nothing very wild or violent with the action. Give it a little shake every now and again. And I'm just waiting to feel a tap and a pick up. And when I do, I'll really set that hook. You've just got to believe what you're seeing on the depth sounder. There are fish there and they're big fish. So they've got to be either barra or threadfin salmon. And because of the way they're schooling and the way they're showing up on the sounder, I suspect that they're probably threadfin. When we first saw them, they were pinned hard to the bottom. Their bellies must have been almost touching the mud. Now they've lifted half a metre or so. And to me, that indicates that they're becoming a little more active. There may be some prawns starting to come through on this run in tide. And those fish have just lifted up off the bottom and they're looking into the current, waiting for something to come along. Targeting these threadfin salmon can be so frustrating. We're seeing a lot of them on the sounder, but they're just not that keen to bite. But I've got the, uh, the Squidgy Bio Tough Ooh, flick bait on which has got very little inbuilt action and sometimes I find that that's what they want something that doesn't have a lot of action you just virtually dead stick it give it little twitches just don't give up keep working away on them something might trigger them to have a bite or you might just happen to get that lure right across one's nose this one I felt him tap it once and then eat it he may have even touched it with his feelers might have, might have come up fairly fresh from the down further in the tidal water, this bloke. Oh, he's a good fella. That's nice. Oh, thank you, love. Well done, you. <laughs> well, work for him. Yeah. I'll just bring him up here onto yep. the casting deck. Oh. Look at him. Yeah, very silvery. Often they're, um, they're a golden yellow out of here. Almost like the chartreuse lures yeah. that you see. Oh, look at that, just pinned, pinned beautifully. big mouth. Big you know, mouth they can eat whatever they want, but they actually spend a lot of time eating small stuff, prawns and little bait fish. And I reckon what I felt was him touching it once with those feelers and he tastes, probably tasted the S factor and then sucked it in and I actually had to set it. And you can see it's beautifully set there in the corner of the jaw and that bio tough, is not even slightly torn or misshapen. You know, I could catch another 20 of these salmon on that lure. You've got to completely change your thinking about the durability of soft plastics when you're dealing with these squidgy biotuffs. They just last and last, and they're, because they're so stretchy and so tough, no splits, no tears. All right, let's get a length on this guy. So he's about 81, 81 and a half to the fork, but 90, well, Actually, you get 98, near, near yeah. 98 and a bit to the tips. So, not a bad fish. And that, believe it or not, is about average for the uh, Fitzroy River here in town. Now, because uh, he's put in a pretty hard battle, I'm going to hold him in the water there and swim him for a little bit before I let him go. Oh, yeah. Back down, no problems at all. All right. And because my bio tough is still in immaculate condition i'm going to get it straight back in there i might just put a little bit more s factor on it first because i really think that made a difference these fish rely so much on those whiskers with all the little sensory organs in them he's touched that i reckon it tasted all right so he sucked it in and i was able to hit him while it was in his mouth it's, you've got to be on the ball to do this but it's good fun check out the entire squidgies bio tough range on the squidgies website